employment to uh, an, individual. an individual for Road and Bridge. We're gonna off he's been offered, or going to be offered the opportunity for employment. Okay. I forgot to get these on my list. They're the PBC disbursement request for $2,417 and the tax credit funds request for $14,117.22. That was one thing I just couldn't get wrapped around is how we signed the contract for $5.1 million or something like that. Mm -hmm. And now we're over budget? Well, we are, because he had the wrong figure. Okay. He didn't have the full 5.176 whatever. All John had on that sheet was five. So there was 100000 that was not on there. So I think that's where the issue was coming from. He made a comment. Yep. We, had, we had to add some stuff. Right. And throw them over budget. Well, how can you go? You can't go over You can't budget. go over well, I'm just thought that he didn't have some sort of contingency plan already in place for these problems that are popping up. But. Well, and he didn't seem to be looking for anything else either. No. I mean, they were all... Team. How much we? It's that month. It's a monthly. It's about the same every month. It's for their services. So they ought to be over with. Yeah, it's gonna be. Well, yeah. Whenever I, I assume it ends, whenever it close, they you close on the project. Oh, okay. Very good. I was talking with Taryn. <laughs> we have taken on the transportation grant ourselves. More her than me. <laughs> She's done an incredible job. So. She doesn't know where she took the credit. Huh? Yeah, I was trying to. I stopped myself because she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> she wouldn't hear it. It'd be his ideas. Yeah. What did we get from Calicrate? Uh, I think it's, does it say on there? I think they did some... Then. Door plaques? Oh, I bet he engraved them. Uh, door plaques for the residents, so you know he's... Oh, they do that? I, yeah, I think he does the laser stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Talking about TV? Pretty yeah. expensive door plugs. Thirteen hundred dollars. Maybe there's thirteen hundred. Yeah, I doubt that. Yeah, I bet he has more people than he can do that. Shit, grief! I got it. Yeah, Tony. I can only imagine. Sorry, we never decided on one. Did we want to try to? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess if they have proven that, <laughs> Leslie's at the same point here. <laughs> okay, do I hear a motion to go ahead and approve the tax credit funds request uh, and the disbursement request from uh, Security, State Bank. Security State Bank of Kansas City? Yes. So moved. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Seeing you a lot. <laughs> we have ran into each other a lot in the last couple of weeks, it seems like. <laughs> is that one dog down at the shop? Is that Jim's? Mm hmm. It's the only male the that head. we got out of that litter. The head. That's kind of a young look. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm here on behalf of Transportation uh, Grant for, this would be for our next year, the 1920 year, um, we're already been approved for this year, I'm currently working in that current grant year, but, um, so, yeah, I'm here for your support from you as a board to serve or to give us our authorization that we did we can do this and um, that you're willing to support the public transportation and so forth and me to submit the application for our funding is that the KDOT? yes this is the k dot one yes and so you're going to do it all in-house here mm -hmm. yep yeah. i've worked on it the last uh, three weeks <laughs> Perfect. trying to figure out all the loop the ins and outs and um have learned a lot and I'm still learning things that need to be done but um, I think I have things ready um, if you guys approve for Terry to sign we, get, we have to have this submitted by the 9th yeah has to be submitted by November 9th so that's why I'm here today so yes. move. all those in favor all right all right so these How much is it for? You know, currently are um, through KDOT, it's like 60 some thousand, and they do, federal does so much, and state does so much percentage wise. And then there's that one too. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of spots for you, Terry. Um, I can tell you in here. I'll get to my right thing here. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think there's two spots there. So federal does 80% of our admin, 50% of our operating, and they do, state does 20% 20 20 of our operating, and then the 30, rather than 30% um, for operating comes from the from our local matches. So that's the county, and then um, Bird City, yeah. Um, City of St. Francis has already um, pledged, I think they budgeted 5,500, and then I'm working on getting, um, more from the same amount from the Bird City area. I have to go through, I found out we have to go through Century 2. They do it by grant. The, city, the actual city of Bird City doesn't pledge anything. So I'm working on getting the grant through Century 2, through Bird City area on aging, so we can get that funding. So, so I, was, I was on the phone with Taryn with Bird City Century that's, 2. That's trying. been the fun. Fun part of it, yeah, is figuring out that. I think everything else other than just your signatures here. Yeah. All right. Good grief. What are we agreeing to here? Or what am I agreeing to here? Better <laughs> that you don't know. Wow. That's the next 12 years. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and I hope they don't call it a note in it. And I can't remember because uh, the. The year ends in the end of July through this with the state. Okay, and here in one. It was the first full year. We oh, had over 2,000 rides in that year. Um, I think I have them out here. A lot of rides. So it's being utilized. It's yes. being utilized. So, we're over since last year since we've actually had a full year of um, service it's um, shown to be definitely beneficial not only for St. Francis but from Bird City and so you able to keep drivers 
pretty well. We still have our three just three right part now. time, and so far we've been good. I, I, if anybody walk in, I'm sure we we would definitely take their application and and consider them because even if they just want to work half a day a week, yeah. Or, what if they go to sleep driving? <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> I just started saying, "There's a job for you." I say, "Yeah, we take anybody from you know four or five hours of just a day a week to two, you know, two days." No, no, really, no. Just sixteen passengers or more. How much? Sixteen passengers or more. Yeah, I think ours only holds seven. If it was designed by the manufacturer seven. to transport sixteen persons or more, you have to have CDL. Yeah, I think. I don't know why I know that. There's a couple of days a week. It, it, it's completely just full. So these little buses won't hold 16, so they can be long without it, but the bigger ones. And they have to go through our training and yeah. KDOT standards stuff, yes. but other than that. And they do driver improvement right. training. And they have to do training too. once a year. It actually benefits them in the long run anyway, because they can take that same training and go down to their insurance people. And get a discounted rate on your car. So if I would drive and I didn't have any calls, I could say I want to take myself to the farm. <laughs> you could try that for a drive. You'd have to charge yourself two dollars. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, fifty cents a mile is less. <laughs> and a two dollar minimum fee. Yeah. I thought that was free. Well, I think you'd account. have to advertise that you have a route that goes out to your farm. Yeah, 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 yeah I would. Right. Right. <laughs> <There's anyone that, laughs> Anyone that would like to ride out to yeah. and there's no walkers with you. There's and, uh, no feed involved with this. I don't want any bales in it. <laughs> <laughs> or fence I mean, fixing you equipment. Can, you yeah. go on a hay oh, ride. Our, <laughs> our in town, our in county ser demand service is great <laughs> enough that we can't currently really service anybody wanting to go to Colby or Hayes. Oh. And so, I, you know, in the future, it'd be nice to consider possibly another smaller van or vehicle to be able to accommodate those people and we've had many calls that need to go to Hayes for cancer treatment I can see Hayes would be been but we one. just can't right now our demand locally. in locally is high that we can't take the van out of technically service for local transportation for a whole day to go to Hayes so I have to leave. Right. they continually you. check but you're doing a great job it's obvious this so. Was a was a good move. And so it's good it's to people out. Yeah. yeah. So we've already got Wilma and Madeline and all these ladies that are signed up at the assisted living. They are. We will only have to they go to one spot places. now. Yeah. Well, they only have to pick them up at one spot now once they get all rested, <laughs> get established up there. So. Good. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello. Do we have any more business? <laughs> one more. Oh, God. <clears throat> I've got the list to start on the next tech sale. And so I am needing to get certificates of title completed so that I can start on the petition because my goal is to file the petition for the tax sale every January on a yearly basis, right. annual basis. And so in order to get that accomplished, I need the commission's approval to go ahead and get those certificates of title done. I would bring bids, however, the only local certified abstractor is RM Jakeway Abstract. Right. Saunders is the only one. Correct. And I do work part time there, but I have double checked and she is the only bonded certified abstractor in Cheyenne County, unless you want to go out of county. Oh. Yeah, move forward on that because that's something we need to get established and. For right. the future. And there are about, you need a motion to go ahead? I would prefer because there are about 22 tracks, and if I mean, it's going to be over $1,500. Yeah. Next tax sale. What I heard was next, next tech. tech. And I'm it took me a moment to. <laughs> so what do we got to do with next tech? <laughs> so I have your hearing aid, Mibble. When you say tracks, or oh, these are the parcels that um, are delinquent. And eligible to be placed on the yeah, foreclosure sale, so, yeah. So they're like vacant lots and things like that. Buildings, they houses. Can, whoever hasn't kinds. paid their real estate taxes, they go on the list from 2014 and prior. How many properties? About 22 or 23. 
checks in my pay money. <laughs> Can we generate enough to pay the taxes? Shit, I need to go and get through that. Can we generate, generate enough to pay the taxes? Only if you go in and uh, set the opening bid at what's due and owing on them. And if you do that, then you're going to be owning a lot of real mm -hmm. estate. So we don't know then. They no. usually don't. The only, the only maybe guarantees if you get a lien holder against the property, <clears throat> they'll they'll usually set an opening bid at whatever, yeah. whatever it's owed to them. So do I have a motion to go ahead and approve Leslie to start this process? I so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Also, I would say, let you know one other thing that's real short. Um, our the Colby Hosp Hospital in Colby that does our PCP testing is ending that November 15th. I've been in contact with Milo with the city, and we're going to try to find out how we can do it. And I, I'm also going to approach Kelly at the hospital. Well, I know they'd have to buy special equipment because right. we did discuss this with Scott Jenkins at one point in time, and he wasn't interested. I mean, it's I think you could go around to some businesses and maybe yeah. get some support because it's it's very I mean it's, well, it's be good for their insurance. Yeah, so just as far as work and comp stance goes, that because it gives you a place to build them back yeah. to and not just yeah I like that keep them yeah, those PCB tests again, like meth testing. physical capacity profile. Did you not go down and get your test done? Yeah. What the heck? I know you've got a lot of things on your plate, but if Freeman's claims I recall you or you talk to them, ask them if they have any type of an insurance for inmates. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is, if we had a guy have a heart attack, oh crap. Oh, yeah, it's never any, and we're not the only ones. But that was why I tried to tell Cody, you've got to get out there and, and ask, do, ask some questions to your other sheriffs because I guarantee you this happens almost daily somewhere yes. in this state. Yeah, you go down there to Wyandotte <clears throat> County or something. Well, even Saline County, that ambulance just goes back and forth on a constant and, basis. And I don't know if there's a blanket coverage, you know, or well, something. Well, somebody's got the answer. So much, we just need to find So much it. a month or year for insurance. Could there be anything with K-Camp or anything? I just don't know. Well, they're you sure need to look into Cody. I don't know, either Cody or us. I don't know. All right. He's a little busy right now. I'm shuffling people back and forth. So. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we still, are we having two deputies for the time now? Hey, you still? Yeah. I, no, 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 no. She came back 